Hi, I'm Scott Swenson. We're at Lynn's Propane Trucks. Today we have a refurbished bobtail here for you. Uh, this is a 2017 International. It's got a Cummings engine, 3,200 gallon tank. Uh, we've gone through this whole truck. It was a tank off restoration, all new paint. Anything that needed to be replaced was replaced. You know, brand new base system, etc. As you can see, this truck is absolutely beautiful right now. It's got 78,800 miles. Um, in the front here, you'll see that we've got a couple strobes. Uh, these work in conjunction with one on the rear head of the truck. Uh, aluminum wheels, stainless fenders, stainless lower deck, oversized stainless meter box. Let's jump in the cab and take a look at a few of the options in there. So in the cab here, we have uh, powers of uh, windows and locks right on the driver's side door. Coming across, like we mentioned, you can see it's got 78,880 miles. AC, uh, AM, FM radio, Bluetooth, You've got your uh, USB port here as well and your MP3 plugs, all that. Uh, over here on the side you'll see the toggles for the strobe lights, which we had two on the front hood there, and then one on the rear tank, and the work lights. We've got two on the lower corners of the cab, and then two on the rear head of the tank. Uh, really nice, illuminates both sides of the truck uh, for those late night deliveries. This truck has a three function remote, PTO, throttle, and e-stop. Uh, you're only required to have the e-stop. The PTO and the throttle are really nice because the drivers can use them. You get out to the tank, kick the PTO on, kick the throttle up. As the tank fills, kick the throttle down and shut the PTO off right from the customer's tank. Uh, then one of the other nice things about that is that the drivers can use it so they carry it. By law, they have to have it with them during every delivery. A lot of times with the single function remotes, we'll see them living up on the dashboard get pulled over by the DOT, the battery's dead, it doesn't work, you get a ticket for that. It's nice when the driver's using it on every delivery. If the battery dies, they're changing it out. Up here on the column, you can see we've got our backup camera. So this is the monitor, the camera itself is on the rear head of the tank, tied into the reverse circuit. You put it in reverse, it'll come up here. Uh, really nice safety feature it completely eliminates the blind spot behind the truck uh, we mount it over here because uh, we feel it works a little bit better where you can look at the monitor directly behind you and still use your mirrors there's still only two spots to look instead of adding a third spot in the center of the dash uh, really nice it, th those work really well and once your drivers use them they don't want to have a truck without them uh, we've got a custom printer stand here uh, this is made for this individual truck it is rock solid it will not be shaken as you're driving down the street uh, we've got a ticket holder here helps keep your drivers organized you know we see trucks coming in for service all the time whether it be a cardboard box a milk carton whatever they've got trying to keep themselves organized this helps them stay organized a little bit uh, let's head to the side of the truck and take a look at a couple more options so here on the side of the truck, we've got heated mirrors. I don't think we mentioned that when we were in the cab. We've got this oversized fuel tank, which is nice. You don't have to be filling it every single day. Uh, DEF tank in front of that. I don't know if I mentioned it at the start, but we've got a 3,200 gallon barrel. Uh, we're on a 120 cap to axle. Uh, this is the best balanced truck you'll drive. 120 CA with a 3,200 gallon, beautifully balanced propane truck. If I had to drive anything, it would be one of these. Uh, moving back here, you'll see we've got a window in the tank rail. Uh, that is so that you can see if the main valve's opening or not. Uh, a lot of times if the truck's not pumping, the driver's first thing would be to check to see if the main valve's open. Well, you don't want them getting under the truck for any reason while it's running. Uh, this window gives them a nice simple way to peek in there and check, especially if there's snow on the ground or it's a rainy day, whatever it is. Uh, Stainless fenders, stainless fender brackets, aluminum wheels. Uh, we've got our chalk block holder back here, spring loaded, nice and easy to use. Uh, rubber on the front and back so they're not banging going down the road. Nice and simple. Let's head to the back and take a look at a little more. Starting up top, you'll see that strobe in the rear we talked about working in conjunction with the two on the front hood. Uh, the camera for that monitor we saw in the column up in the cab on the passenger side put it in reverse it shows the entire back of the truck completely eliminating the blind spot really really nice safety feature I can't say that enough uh, beside that we've got the two work lights uh, those are working in conjunction with the two on the lower rear corners of the cab with that toggle in the 
in the cab itself. So that illuminates the back of the truck, the side of the truck. So everywhere he's walking or working around the truck is lit up for those late night deliveries when it's icy, snowy, whatever it is. It's just a really nice safety feature. Uh, we have a recessed float gauge. A lot of times you'll see they've got that little eyebrow over it and you've just got rust running right down the tank from that. This is recessed, won't shear off. You don't have all that rust coming down. Uh, it's a nice solution to that. We've got an oversized meter box here that houses the hose end nozzle. Easy in, easy out. You get to your stop, drop it right back in here. It's nice and simple. A lot of times we'll see, might have something where you've got to thread it to the deck uh, after every delivery, unthread it before every delivery. It's just kind of a pain. This is nice and simple. Everything's right in here and contained. It's inside the meter box so it keeps it clean and dry in those bad weather days. We have an LCR2 register with a two-stage preset on an LC meter. Uh, two-stage preset, you can set it to 280.5 gallons. It'll drop it right to the tenth every single time. Also inside here, we've got a nice little tray. How's your gloves, fittings, anything you're using periodically throughout the day. Keep it nice and handy for you. And then on the inside here, we've also got a, a little bottle holder for your leak check soap. Uh, keeps it nice and handy. Uh, a lot of guys also in the summer months will use it for the bee spray uh, so they can get right at it quickly. They know exactly where it is. On the other side here, we've got a Hen A hose reel. This is spec for 150 feet of one inch hose. Uh, it's spec for 250 feet of one inch hose. Comes with 150 feet of one inch hose. We've got all this extra area here as you can see. And that makes it nice in the winter months when your drivers could be doing 30, 40, 50, maybe even 60 deliveries a day. Uh, they're just coming back to the truck and they're throwing that hose on there quick. Uh, they're not trying to get it on there perfectly. And when they're throwing it on quick, if it's not oversized, it's lopping over the side, getting caught between the drum and the frame. It's rubbing the deck, shortening the life of your hose. This just makes it easier for your drivers and the equipment lasts a lot longer as well. We've got the Guide Master on here, which is a really nice feature. Uh, instead of guiding it in by hand, the hose by hand, you can just move the arm back and forth. That hose isn't going through your gloves. You're getting everything on your gloves that the hose is dragged through. Uh, it's just nice and easy and it's, it's much easier on the back as well. Looking at the center of the deck here, <clears throat> we've got pull-away protection. This is tied in with the Allison transmission. Uh, they have a function called range inhibit. So if this cap is not on, the Allison will not let you put it into gear. Uh, so when you guys are out loading in the winter, they're supposed to be back here keeping an eye on things, but when it's cold and windy, a lot of times they end up in the cab for a few minutes, it's easy to get distracted. This is the most common accident we see is the pull-away from the plant. Uh, so this pretty much eliminates that. Really, really nice safety feature. <coughs> You'll also notice the deck is lowered and the fills are lowered and angled. So a lot of times on most truck what you'll see is a prefabricated deck. You've got the chassis rails coming back out behind the, the rear axle. They'll set the prefab deck on top of the chassis rails and you get a nice high workspace. Everything's up over your center of gravity. You're working up higher, reeling everything in loading the truck at the meter, everything's up higher. So this keeps everything nice and low within your center of gravity. It makes working off the back deck a lot easier. Also, the load lines. So we've got our vapor and our liquid. I can't tell you how many times I've seen guys, whether on a milk crate or struggling with that two inch hose in the winter, it's not flexible at all. Trying to get that lined up exactly so that they can get those acmes to spin on. As you can see with this height, it's nice and simple. You come in with a hose, it's the right height, the right angle, it just lines up perfectly. And you spin that Acme on. Nice and simple. Just makes things a little bit easier for your drivers, especially in those winter months when they're out straight. Uh, let's, uh, well, the deck is lowered, but it's also stainless. We didn't mention that. Stainless bumper cover, stainless deck, sheet on the top, stainless sides, our stainless oversized meter box polished aluminum hose reel. Uh, just really great materials here on the back deck. Let's head over to the side and take a look at a couple more things. So again, back here, we've got the lowered stainless steel deck, stainless fenders, stainless fender brackets. We've got the stainless fender spacer here. I don't think we spoke about this on the other side. We set the, the mud flaps back so you can't pin them against a snow bank and tear them off. Because they're set back, uh, we put a spacer in here stainless steel spacer to keep the road grime off the rear deck. Uh, vertical exhaust, 
The work lights we were talking about, we've got two on the rear head of the tank, two back here. They just illuminate both sides of the truck. The back workspace, really nice for nighttime deliveries. Uh, you can't really see it in the, uh, in the frame rails there. We've got an oversized PTO shaft. Straight as an arrow, a lot of times we see those coming in, all kinds of angles. They just don't last if they're not straight. Uh, they give, it gives it much more longevity when you plumb it out straight instead of all these weird angles to make it fit. Uh, also, with all these trucks, you'll get drawings. Our wiring, how we do it, what we do, everything's color-coded. Parts, part locations helps you troubleshoot, but you can always call us to troubleshoot as well. This truck has been completely gone, off, gone through. Tank off restoration, painted just like a brand new truck would be painted. It is absolutely gorgeous, in great shape, and ready to start making deliveries for you. If you have any questions, give us a call, 800-252-5467. We'll talk to you soon.